so again guys you you should be able to describe the law of action and reaction the one thing that i really want um to get basically burned into your brain is this right here this equal and opposite okay so when we're talking about the law of action reaction you're always like going to look for that equal and opposite action force or reaction force so for the first example um, you'll have a man that's pushing against a wall. Okay, so the action is the man is pushing against the wall. That's the action force. So what is the reaction force? So remember, equal and opposite. So then it's going to be the wall is pushing back against the man. So the man's pushing against the wall, and the reaction force is the wall is pushing back against him. Okay. Here, the hammer. The hammer's hitting the nail. Okay, so what is the reaction force? Okay, the nail is pushing back against the hammer. Okay, so this right here, again, it's where they're making contact. That's going to be the action and reaction. It's always going to be equal, it's going to be opposite. So if it says pushing back, or pushing forward, you want to find the opposite. Pushing up, you want to find the opposite of up, down. And forces will always be equal. So if the force is 10 back, it's going to be 10 up. Again, equal and opposite. Okay, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to complete slides 6, 7, and 8. And it's the same thing. What is the reaction force? Okay, you're going to read the action force. Give me the reaction force okay and then on slide nine you're going to summarize what you've learned today okay so describe what you have learned about newton's law of action reaction and that's it that's all we're doing for today if you have any questions let me know